Welcome to DNA's Birding Adventures. We're back from Nebraska and now we're hitting the Rockies. We're looking for those birds that live at 10,000 feet with an idea of getting maybe some common red poles, rosy finches, and some different jays we haven't gotten yet this year. We'll be birding at around 10,000 feet up in the Rockies, starting in Estes Park at Matthews Reeser Bird Sanctuary. And then we'll head to Rocky Mountain National Park for some of our favorite local hikes where we might be able to spot the Clark's Nutcracker and Gray Jay and some other high mountain cuties. And then we'll head to Brainerd Lake in search of the three-toed woodpecker and Clark's Nutcracker. Or we'll take a Stellar's Jay. <laughs> Either way, it'll be a great hike in the snow. We had two feet of snow, almost three feet of snow when we got home from Nebraska. The birds are hungry here. And here we go. We heard there was a common red pole or two in Matthews Reeser Bird Sanctuary, so we'll see. I think Estes Park got just about as much snow as we did. There was a little bit of open water and we saw this mallard and a whole bunch of common golden eyes. There's a really nice wooded area in the sanctuary where we saw this uh, Stellar's Jay trying to, maybe he was taking stores or caches of food or putting them in there, I'm not sure, but he was busy. There were a couple other usual suspects and then walking back to the parking lot and saw this guy. Squirrel. No, it's a red pole. Oh, cool. Is it? Wait, I don't know. Yay, it's a common red pole. We found out the females even have a little bit of red on their heads and a little bit of striping on their chests. Dave saw one other common red pole that flew off, but this one stayed and was busy working on those little pine cones from the mountain alder. We haven't seen a common red pole for quite a few years. In fact, this is only the third time we've spotted one. They're fairly scarce in Colorado and they head way far north for their breeding. Here's a distribution map from All About Birds showing where they breed up north. They like to hang out with the pine siskins and they stand out because of this red head that they have. You can see on this photo it has a little yellow bill, plump body, and a notched tail. Common red pole, bird number 165. We'll take it. Our trip to the mountains wouldn't be complete without these paired up Canada geese, a black billed magpie, and a red-tailed hawk. We also saw an American Dipper trying to avoid the fishermen up and down the river. <laughs> Estes Park has a famous hike that goes by these twin owls. It's quite gorgeous, I'll have to check that out. And the famous Stanley is there in Estes Park. This rock pigeon was sitting on top of the parking garage. They're actually beautiful birds with their purple and green. They're varied in colors. The rosy finches like to head down from the freezing cold, so we saw this one in Estes Park. Okay, 21 birds in the Estes Park area, including two new birds for 2024. Plus, we got our target bird. Next stop, a hike in Rocky Mountain National Park, looking for the Clark's Nutcracker and Gray Jay. This is how much snow they had at Rocky Mountain National Park. And in the parking lot, we saw a Gray Jay. That's a picture my daughter took, and this is bird number 167. We started hiking around Bear Lake, and there was just so many people, but this is our one of our favorite spots with Hallett's Peak. There are actually 270 birds that have been spotted, 
in Rocky Mountain National Park in the last hundred years. And we'll have to go back in the spring where we can find some more ptarmigans up higher. There's an offshoot trail that goes from Bear Lake parking lot up to Emerald Lake and we took that trail up to Nymph and found a few birds and this gray squirrel that was busy working on its nut or seed. to Nymph Lake and then we spotted a couple birds on our way back down. The Stellar's Jays are gorgeous, as well as these pygmy nut hatches. It's amazing how they survive through the winter. This is my favorite local resident, the Mountain Chickadee. This one was moving so fast it was hard to capture a picture or video. <laughs> so cute. And this is just a little blurry ball. <laughs> and of course the dark-eyed juncos, they just move up and down in elevation. We have them at our house right now, but the gray-headed ones usually stay up in the Rocky Mountains. We didn't see very many big animals because there was so much snow. This mule deer found a spot with some grass to eat. And this wild turkey was finding a way to trudge through the snow, <laughs> right by the road. The snow's melting fast along the river. It's kind of a brownish color. What a great day. We got six birds and one new for 2024, the Gray Jay. We had quite an appetite after doing all that birding. And we stopped at Ed's Cantina and Grill in Estes Park. And they have a really good menu with uh, tacos, but I got their three enchiladas this time. Delicious. It's Cantina. Mmm. Enchiladas. The next day we headed back into the Rocky Mountains to Brainerd Lake looking for the three-toed woodpecker. We spotted them before. Look at all the snow. Wow, Brainerd Lake had a ton of snow too. It was a one little parking lot that you could park at, nothing else was plowed. We found one little mash down trail that headed to Brainerd Lake, so we took that one. It was pretty snowy. Brainerd Lake, we're actually still on the road. We're gonna look for the three-toed woodpecker and maybe a couple other birds. saw the Clark's nutcracker flew off over into there somewhere. It's a little bit breezy and a lot of snow. 
Okay, no three-toed woodpecker, but this is a new one for Dave this year, the Clark's Nutcracker. Red Rock, Red Rock Lake. <laughs> it's gorgeous. There's usually elk up here in Brainerd Lake, but we saw quite a few other tracks, probably snowshoe hares, weasels, uh, mice, or voles, <laughs> maybe a moose. Let us know in the comments if you know what that animal track is. There's at least five feet of snow. It's a good thing this is packed down. All I have are my spikes. The moment you step off the trail though, you go almost waist deep. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at those mountains. They're kind of covered in clouds. You can usually hear the red-breasted nuthatch before you see them. They are cute. Brainerd Lake's right up there. It's breezy today. There's so many mountain chickadees in here. We're getting closer to Brainerd Lake. I think that was a three mile hike all together at Brader Lake. Got quite a few birds. We're heading down through Ward, Colorado and the Left Hand Canyon into Boulder. And we were just thrilled to see this pine grosbeak. It was right on the side of the road. Bird number 168. And then continuing on our way home, we stopped by Pella Crossing and saw a really nice blue heron rookery and there were quite a few pairs, sign of spring. second red-tailed hawk for the trip. What a beauty. Okay, our birding at elevation paid off. We got four new birds for 2024. Thank you so much for watching DNA's Birding Adventures and subscribing. Until next time, happy trails to you.